My name is Elena Kowe. I work in Germany for Early International. I've been doing that for the last two years and that's also when I started to work with Neo4j. Myself, I studied um, mathematics and business and that's my starting point. We looked for a solution for a very specific problem that I want to explain to you. For that, uh, I want to take you a bit um, through the automotive industry. So until recently, the startup companies in the automotive industry had a huge entry barrier. But that has changed now with the electrification of cars. So more and more startups come into the market with a, a variety of individual ideas like, for example, the integration of solar panels into the vehicle exterior or electrified low trim utility pickups. And what all these startups have in common is that they need to get an overview very quickly on the investment concerning timing, human resources and budget in order to realize their project. And now to what I do with Neo4j. Uh, RLE International, the company that I work for, has been a automotive engineering services provider for the last 35 years. And as such, they have worked with a variety of automotive companies throughout the world. And hence, we have collected a lot of process knowledge in the company. And I collect this knowledge from the employees' minds and put it into a huge knowledge graph. And then startups can come to us and query this knowledge graph in order to obtain a individually tailored project plan for their individual project. And before we had Neo4j, this was all done in a huge Excel spreadsheet with over 200 tabs. Like every single tab was uh, representing one single process within the automotive development. And these tabs were all interconnected with each other, representing the predecessors and successors. And if a company came to us asking for a specific project plan, a huge group of uh, experienced engineers had to work through the whole Excel sheet and through all the 200 tabs to calculate durations of those processes and resource requirements in order to get a good plan. And this was, of course, very tedious, time consuming and uh, also very subjective, which is not anymore with the graph. And that's how we came to use Neo4j. When we had those ex this Excel sheet with those 200 tabs, they were all linked together. But of course, Excel linking is not the same. I mean, you can click on something, then you come to the next tab. But you still have to keep in mind everything. And when you calculate durations, you need to keep all the links in mind. That's really very, very hard. And with Neo4j, it's just everything's there. You can just look at the graph, you see all the links, and uh, during our calculation, the graph takes care of everything. And that's why it's so important for us. Neo4j was really helpful with our problem. What used to take weeks and weeks and a group of highly experienced engineers now only takes minutes and some clicks. And with the time saving that the software that I conceived gives us, we can even start about think, thinking about the optimization of plans and also conduct business plan gaming. This was not possible before because if one parameter changed for a project plan, the whole thing had to be recalculated manually again because you could never know where this parameter has an effect on in the process. But now we just change the parameters of the program, recalculate in the graph and the new project plan is there directly. I really like the Neo4j community. It's a very friendly place. And if I got stuck with any problems, I knew that I could turn to the community with the questions or problems to discuss. It's a really nice place. Also, what I really like is the Neo4j Ninja program that was launched a year ago. That has really helped me with those exclusive sessions to boost my programming experience, also to support the development of the software as it is now.
I really like the easiness of debugging. I mean, I just go into the graph, I have a look on the nodes and the edges and all the attributes, and then I can find my problems and my bugs really quickly. And that's that makes a programmer's life really a lot easier than with other stuff. So as of now, my program is running as it's supposed to do. But of course, there is so much more to explore and to do. Next, uh, in my program, I want to integrate more graph data science and artificial intelligence algorithms to explore the knowledge graph even more profoundly. And I also want to introduce more intelligent functions for future customers. As for the graph technology future, I think Neo4j's slogan, uh, graphs are everywhere, is really true. So yeah, there are just so many applications uh, for graph databases. As for us, we have a lot more projects that we want to discover using graphs. And I think graph databases will get more and more popular in all industries once the right people discover their usefulness and their potential.